Alright YouTube buddies, I know it's been a while and uh, I know I haven't had a video so I just started to put the car back together. Uh, we just put the door panels on today. New door panel. Put another new head unit in it. It's the Pioneer. It's a AVIC X920 BT. Uh, navigation and everything. Uh, that seems to be pretty pretty decent. Definitely better than the Alpine. Um, for some of the new subscribers that haven't seen it. Concrete floor with rebar. Uh, mesh in there as well. A little bit of fiberglass matting. Um, we got a steel roof. Three inch, two inch thick. With a sheet of birch on top of that. Uh, kitty hair fiberglass and bondo and all that good stuff. Um, here's the wall. Ten layer thick baffle. So, we'll get the 18s back here in a couple days. Um, this is a big thing. Reason why it hasn't, you haven't seen nothing from me, it hasn't been running in three months. And uh, basically, I've got to find my key here. <laughs> Here's the key. Just came back from Merlin Ford. Don't even want to know what it cost me to fix. But there she is. She runs. Now I can make it to shows. Um, basically what would happen to this thing is uh, someone put the wrong key in the ignition. So, uh, security went on. That was one of the issues and it would just turn over and turn over and turn over and turn over and I had a number of different mechanics look at it. And uh, basically came down to it. They had to re reprogram the computer and then uh, they found out that there was also on top of that there was a pin pulled out of the main wiring harness. So, I just got it back. I just got this shit done today, so this is what I got done so far. And then I have a big surprise for you. Remember those little American bass amps? Well, they may be little, but they put out big power. But I think I got some more big power. I think you guys know what these are. I'm just gonna turn this thing off here. Don't need to burn up gas. Anyways, I figure uh, one Stetson per sub will uh, will do here. None of that uh, sound digital crap. So what do you guys think of the 11Ks? I know when I had mine, it was beast. Um, basically, I had to send mine back and get it fixed. The pre-out was gone, but now it's it's good. And then I just bought this other one from a fellow YouTuber. And uh, we're going to do a video on his stereo. He's got a couple DD9515s and he's got my old American bass amps. So uh, be sure to check that video out and give me a couple days here. I've only got four yellow tops. So uh, that's not enough to run even one. So basically I'm going to try run one off four very easily. Maybe quarter gain, not even. Just to hear some bump. And then basically it's a matter of waiting till I get the money to buy all the batteries to power both of them. So, but damn, that's a big difference. Looks fucking nice. Gotta get those door speakers in yet. Ah, it all takes time, I guess. Anyways, that's uh, the update for now. And uh, later, guys.